I'm Mickey Colton. And I'm Chad Dillon. And this, this is the Utica Rally Cross Series. Series coming to you live for your 15th race here in Hong Kong. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, uh. Now, last year, this was the big wreck track. Yes, so many drivers course. went out. It was a very dangerous race. Seth Cole even got injured last year, so it should be an insane event here this time with 25 drivers. Hey, it's around tenth. Christmas time, too, so hopefully you know, no one crashes their car for the Christmas season. We want Everyone's going to be happy. Yeah, we don't want know. anyone in a cast for the holidays. Exactly. But as we begin today's event, we start off with car number five. It's Bad Luck John Cittadino. It's Bad Luck Bob, and he is starting out. And, and you know what? As long as he can hit the big jump. I remember last year, I think he had a really good jump. I mean, he did really well last year. Yeah, I think he had a, a decent time this I track I think he made year, top five. I think it's just been a really horrible year for this yeah, driver. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, at this point, he's just looking for a top five, top ten finish even. I mean, that would even boost his spirits up. Let's see if he can get a good Christmas present to start off his season. Yeah, here we go. He's going around the track. It's looking pretty good so far. Uh, nothing going wrong at the moment as no. he went through, went over that huge harbor jump. As, oh! Whoa! A little dodgy on the dirt as uh, John Cittadino prepares for the uh, 2014 Utica home track series. No! 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 John Cittadino goes out of the race. Oh, yeah, we don't get to see the entirety of the course this time out. Exactly. But he does get a bonus point for being first on the board. Yeah, exactly. And that's all, He's looking for anything, basically. Anything. As now Daniel Voiles in card number two is on track. Now, uh, he can't win the championship. He's one of those drivers that's a little further down in points. He's just looking for a good run. I think right now he's just he's trying to see. I mean, he's not a bad driver. And let's see. Whoa! Oh, that might he's have going been. pretty quick right now. He's not a bad driver. He's just, you know, he's got some had some bad luck. And I think right now for the rest of the season, he knows he can't win, so he's just going to really try and take his time, scale each track, and really try and figure out what kind of driver he's going to be. Whoa! Yeah, similar thing to John said, you know, there. Now, uh, Daniel Boyles, this season's been kind of a struggle for him. Yeah. He hasn't really had too good of a run as he's going to uh, make it a little further than uh, exactly. John said, you know. Yeah. Um, Voyles has been mostly kind of a try and finish it out driver, and that's an okay mentality. Not going to be a winning one, but at least he, he's starting to size up. Maybe he'll come back next year. Like, and, like uh, I said, like, does, does he want to be a very competitive driver like Todd Benoit and Adam Dunlap, or does he want to be a fun driver like Seth Cole? You know, like, or does he want to take risks? You know, I mean, that's that's what he's got to figure out. Finishing with a 103.34, putting him first so far. Yep, as uh, Alex Tanker on track in the Cream Machine, car number 22. Hong Kong was very exciting for Alex Tankter to come to, you know, their place. Yeah, la last year uh, he and teammate William Duncan at the time, um, they had a great run at Hong Kong. They ran near identical lap times. That, that was the best, uh, one of the best races they had last season because last season they were middle of the pack. Now Alex Tanker really making a push for how good of a driver is. And William Duncan, he's doing just as well. I mean, he just he had a really rough uh, start, but now William Duncan is starting to rise. Yeah, both of them are trying to climb their way through the stage. Whoa! Oh, he's going to go off into the harbor, and it looks like they're going to have to fish him out of the drink. Whoa! That's a DNF. Whoa! Calm down there, Chad. Oh, that was scary. Next up is Matt Duell for Young Motorsports. He's driving car number eight, and he's been having a great season. Yes, he has, and he is still considered the major dark horse of this year. Basically, He's in top five in, in points, and he's always consistent. He had a little, he had a little rough patch in the middle of the season, but whoa, man, that that was the biggest jump I've seen. I think that might be the record for furthest jump yeah. off that. Uh, I think with off the, that ramp. I think next season they should have a world like a, a line, you know, to show off the, the record jump. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Yes, as uh, Matt Duel con um, continuing through the dirt section he of is this plowing. course. Wow. Look at this. this is tracking really well. I think he might actually, at the current rate, he's looking to beat the track record last year, which was held by Chris Aurelio with a 59-second time, I'm pretty it, sure. Yes, it was. And he this is, is tracking, tracking really good. Hasn't hit a wall yet. He, he, this is probably the most flawless run I've seen by Matt Duel. I mean, this is consistent, perfect, and let's see what he Here does. Here we go. 57.71. That is a new track record for him as uh, Seth Cole on track. Right now, the stunt man. Now, last year, oh. last year he got injured at this track. He on did. that jump, had to re be replaced by his sister Mary Cole. Let's hope everything goes a little better this time. Here we go. As now, here's the jump he's been waiting for. Oh. The most infamous jump. This nope, is what nope, got him nope, last nope. year. He, he made it. Oh man, driving risky there, Seth Cole. But a great run so far as he makes it over that jump and around this turn. Yes, and you know, if once you make it past that big jump, you have a lot of confidence, a lot of speed. This is the other tough, uh, the tough spot because you're going on mostly road here. 
and then all of a sudden you hit a really sharp dirt turn, like that one, like Alex Tanker that just. Flew oh out. no! It looks like he's stuck on the wall. The stunt man. This is not what he wants to be doing, as he's going to get it dislodged hey. and try to work his way back on track. Hey, as long as he finishes, as, unlike last season. I mean, think like I said, there's going to be a lot of DNFs. I think this today, and as long as you can get a good like, a finish, as long as you finish the race, you at least get a good placement in. Know, in time. He's going to overshoot that turn slightly, but uh, Seth Cole should be able to finish the event. There is no more big jumps. Usually that's the last section of the track where uh, people rack. He crosses the line with a 111.59. That's going to finish the race out. He's going to be in third place overall as Anthony McCreary for Kyotech Racing is on track. Anthony McCreary, you know, he He's been a very good driver, a very consistent driver the past couple races. I mean, yeah, he's had he has good runs. A couple times he'll yeah. go south, but uh, the endurance driver Looking to have a great Here run today. First jump for the rookie of Let's the season. See. Oh no. no! He's gonna hit the hole in Oof. the uh, in the bridge. That's gonna flip it over. DNF for Anthony McCurry. I Not a good run I for him. I think there might have been an injury on that play. Well, we'll see about that. I know. Let's hope for the best. As uh, Matt Evans, the Black Mamba, on course. He had a great run here last year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he did. He did. They in fact, he joined us in the booth last year. If I remember, he did. He was really. He was talking about. I think he had a top five finish. I mean, he did pretty good. He didn't get a first place, second place, but he got top five. What a great jump by Matt Evans! And what he's trying to do in this race event is that he's trying to dethrone the other black car, Matt Duel. I mean, it's the it's the duel of the blacks. Who's going to be the black actual black Mamba? That's the thing. Yes, and Matt Evans also trying to go for that championship. Adam Dunlap seems to have it pretty much locked up. He's about a race ahead of everyone. It's so funny to see how Adam Dunlap, like that one race he had last season, we saw potential. He comes into this season, he's the star. I mean, he's... It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, it, it's insane how much a driver can improve from oh, wait, one year. Let's see. Adam this is, is actually tracking really well. He's wait. tracking really close to Matt Duell, who's oh. his rival in the points as well. Here we go. Can he overtake him? 57 by point zero one. Wow. That is a slap in the that face to the, Matt Duell. That That's is the duel of the mats. That is the Matt. Oh, my goodness. That is going to be a oh, close battle. Oh, man. It's Joseph Anesto on track right now. There's, there's a little bit of commotion in the pits. The yes. duel pit crew is just... Just completely well, no, sad. Well, right, right now they're trying to see a replay of it to see if it's the exact time. I mean, it's so such a close. I think it's the closest time we had for a finish. You know, like for first place. I know. I mean, that was he, he just barely yeah, stole exactly. it away. As uh, Onesto continues his way around the track, he had a good run earlier at uh, I believe what was it? It was uh, well, he it won, was he won a race. He won SAR. Yeah, he, yeah. he won the SAR event. I was trying to think. It was either SAR or Madagascar. He yeah. won, and. Uh, Right now, Onesto had had a great run there, winning the race. Yeah, but it's, it's been kind of back and forth. Well, he got the first win. Uh, the first win. Um, what is it called? Uh, like it's the it's the um, I can't even talk right now. Here. Wait, are you referring to when Michaels won at uh, whoever given, Everglades? Whenever you get the first win, your next race usually is pretty bad. Oh yeah, Madagascar ended up bad. It's a minute, a minute eighty one for him. So a third place time for yeah, Onesto. A great good. run. Dylan Young on track in the sixteen. Let's hope he's not too young to make the jump. I think it'll be fine. I, I think it'll be fine. I think his young eager eagerness will really get him. Perhaps the, oh no! Hit the wall, but see if he has enough momentum to make the jump. Yeah, let's see. This could be dodgy. He, got he makes it. it, and whoa! Just not going to be the largest jump, but hey, at least he made it. No, see, it's, if you stay low to the ground, you also get to keep the same amount of speed as the other drivers. You know, I mean, it just depends how good of a driver you are to to, to avoid that hole. And no! Oh, did not oh. turn enough. He's going to go into the drink. That's going to end Dylan Young's run, not in the top five. It's Colin Bartell on track right now. Car number 19, he's having a great season. Well, half great. He started out of the season very very dodgy. Very, you know, he, he, We didn't know what kind of driver he was going to be. Now he's just the driver that likes to win races. He's not he's not in the top five in points, but you know what? He's, he's climbing his way up the ladder. He is climbing his way up the ladder. If he can keep himself consistent at the way he has been driving lately and get another win on his belt, he might be able to make top five and even be a really good contention for the championship. The only thing is with Adam Dunlap on top of the standings, the yeah. question is, is it too late? It is. Is it too late indeed? I mean, Adam Dunlap, the only way for these drivers to really come back and really come back and per get the first place and win this championship is Adam Dunlap has a couple bad runs. And so far this season, he's only had a, like one or two. And one of them, he was drunk. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. I mean, he's been, he's been, uh, he's been, uh, he hasn't fallen off the wagon. No, so. I mean, he hasn't. It's, 
you know, usually when you see a driver drive that well, you usually like, oh, he's got to have a bad part. No, he has not had a bad part, but a 58 That's a great time yes. for Colin Bartel. That's going to break the record time once more, and that's going to put him in third place. It's now Tyler Benoit. Adam Dunlap's main competition is on track right now. Let's see. As long as he, he's got to finish, he's got to finish this race. If he DNFs at this jump up ahead, it was really going to throw off the rest of his season in points. I mean, he's battling. But Benoit, the runner-up from last Wait. year. Let's see oh. what he can do. No. No. no! no! He's going to go right through the hole. Not fast enough. He's going to wreck out of the race. This is going to kill him oh. in the points. Oh, no. Especially with Evans and Duel being up near the front. He's got to hope that those drivers fall down the ranking. But, uh, oh, man. Benoit, that's going to kill him. We have to see how Dunlap does, though. It, you know, if Dunlap I, does good, that could be a championship ruiner. It, it, exactly. I mean, if, even if he makes top ten, it's still going to be a championship ruiner. But wait, we got to go to Chris Aurelio, the Mighty Mighty Tiger. No! No! Wait, he whoa, goes through the whoa. hole. But he's going to stay on his wheels. Oh, my God. This is the guy who won last year, and he's going to have a problem. But what's he trying to, He's trying to figure out a way to go around this track, I well, feel. Well, I mean, it's kind of weird because you have to backtrack and make the two checkpoints you missed. I mean, if he is yeah, able to finish, I mean, that's still good. I mean, this track is known for his DNF list, so. I know. What's he trying to do? He's going through the thing. He's knocking off a couple checkpoints, but I'm not sure if this is necessary. He's got to get that one oh, up there. Oh, he realizes that he can't get up there. He... He, it looks like there is a checkpoint on there. Maybe he thought it was on the ground. Well, we'll see how. Oh, see, he's gonna do is he's gonna go. He's gonna go straight ahead here, and if he makes it right, he'll be back on the normal track setting. He's just got to backtrack. Yeah, luckily for him, this is a street circuit, so yes. these roads do connect with each other. They're, they're, as we are racing on city streets, they in are Hong going Kong. to allow this because you know he still has not DNF'd and he he didn't cheat in any way. He's actually making his time worse by doing this. Let's see if he can make the jump this he time, does. and he does a little slower. Actually, causes him to make the jump. Exactly. You know, a lot of people are trying to make make it over that hole for the momentum boost. But if you're not, if you don't have the speed off that first turn to make, hit the jump, you're not going to make it. You're going to fall right in the hole. I think that's what happened with Chris Aurelio. Yeah. Chris Aurelio, he won last year. When he saw his record get beat. He probably tried to beat it by doing what the uh, top drivers did, but yeah. just didn't have the speed. Ooh, yeah. If he were Almost to there, himself over. yeah, that would have been a heartbreaker. Just. But he's looking to finish, and right now, there's no way he... Well, he can be enough if he really is a bad driver, but... I mean, he has to basically, <laughs> like... I mean, you have to basically try at this point to DNF, but... Yeah, exactly, and... Chris, Chris Aurelio uh, going around the track. This car is not handling well, as this car has seen a lot of trouble. As, look at this. Oh, oh he's going to cross with a 201 93. Nowhere near his time last year, where he overthrew Tyler Benoit for now, the race win. Now we got Richard the Chef Johnson coming up now. Top 10 in points. You know, it's coming down. We're going to talk about the points a lot now because it's coming down to the end of the season where the battle's yeah. on. You Only know? five races after this, so exactly. uh, it's, it's coming close. As uh, Richard Johnson currently running oh! on the track. Let's see, just barely makes the jump. As, uh, did you do anything with uh, Richard Johnson here in Hong Kong or uh, things been kind of slow? Well, we, we didn't do anything in Hong Kong. Um, we, we decided to just, you know, do some sightseeing. Last, last year we didn't get to... Man, your phone, man. It just, it just goes off every time, you know? I know, but, but, oh, no, we just, uh, <laughs> man, see your phone, you're distracted. Richard man. Johnson just, just yeah, he's up. in the drink. That's actually really bad for him in points. Yep, he went he went in dry and ended up wet as uh, <laughs> Michael Aurelio on track right now. Let's see how he can do <laughs> As, uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> What? What? I'm reporting. I'm reporting here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta compose yourself. It must have been a funny phone call or something. I don't know. But uh, Michael Aurelio, <laughs> raising on track right now, having a decent time. <laughs> he is. Yes, he is. Okay, let's... Oof. Michael Aurelio now. Man, I don't <laughs> understand. What... No, nothing, nothing. Oh, uh, nothing at all. Is it Steve? Is Steve doing something funny back yeah, there? Yeah, Steve tickled me a couple times. It's kind of weird. Steve! <laughs> you... He knows he has a restraining order. He does. He does. I filed it about two days ago, but he still he just can't stop tickling. That's me. what lawyers are for. Exactly. But uh, Michael Aurelio coming to the line. This is tracking really well. Sorry we didn't get much chance to talk about him, but a minute, minute 70. 70. A great time for him in the top five. Fourth place right now is now Dom Caps is on track, and he's one of those drivers that's clawing at the championship. Dom Caps reminds me a lot of uh, Ray Davis. I mean, he's a very consistent driver. You know, that's what Ray Davis was. He was in, like, top five in points for most of the season last year because of his consistent driving. The only thing he doesn't have is the captain clutch aspect, but who needs it when you drive just a consistent... Uh, no. Oh, he had a little bit of trouble in the, uh, in the uh, island turn. 
And now he's going, and now he had a little bit of trouble there. This car is kind of rocky. I don't think he's got the best handling car. No, no, no. Look, not, look not at this. this. I, think, I think he put a lot of trauma on his, like, on his suspensions when he hit that because, you know, he, he slammed back down hard if you saw how hard he hit. Yeah, though I think he had an ill handling. Oh, 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 and he still is going. Yeah, he's still making an effort for it. Let's here see if go. he can do it, though. Climbing over the, he is stalled on the mountain. He's got a backtrack here. Yeah, he's got to try and work his way around now. Here. This could hurt Dom Caps in the standings, but he is going to beat Tyler Benoit, who's his closest competition. Exactly. Tyler Benoit, he's, pro he, he's actually, right now I see him, he's, he's really mad. He actually stormed off He stormed off track, and he's not at this event right now. Yeah, I think Richard Johnson tried to go after him, but uh, he was still a little moist from the uh, excursion into the water. I, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but here we go. Coming to the line, let's see what Dom Caps gets. It's not going to be a good time, but a 121.19 is going to be what he has to take. As next up, John Lesko. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, yeah. Now, uh, John Lesko, currently on track, the Frenchman. Let's see how he fares. Now, Ray Davis, I forget what he did last year, Ray Davis. I don't have that stat on me at the moment. Uh, but uh, Lasko seems to be uh, learning pretty quickly. I know. He came into the series, and he's had been a very good driver. If he comes back into next season three, he might be one of the top drivers. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Man, excellent car control to make sure that didn't go into the water. Yeah, I've seen a lot of ex excellent car control today. I mean, like Chris Aurelio, even though he de almost DNF'd in that hole, he was able to keep his composure up and really figure out where he had to, what he had to do. Uh, it's a very difficult thing to do, especially when you plummet off a bridge. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, nerves of steel on these drivers. That's the only way that you can uh, make it, or else you'll be like Billy Bishop in panic. Uh, exactly, exactly. 59-33, great job for John Lesko. He sits in fourth place at the moment. It's now Alex DeMarco for Monster Madness Racing is on track. Alex DeMarco, part of that group of guys that came in mid-season, which really had a lot of potential and really made a big impact into the competition of this series. Yes, and uh, DeMarco uh, seems to be one of the better of the... because two drivers came in at the midpoint. And, oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 he's going to grind he it. He grinds it. My God, that's something that says Cole would have done. Cole, is, Cole, I see uh, Cole's applauding from the pit lane. He is. He is very happy with that move he just did. And the fact that he's still being able to have some speed. He, he didn't really slow him down too much. Yeah, as a DeMarco. Whoa, really look, impressive nice there. Nice turn in the dirt section. One of the best turns I've seen today. Now, we've seen him a couple times in uh, Utica Home Track Series. He's quite the road racer, so that's probably why he's able to latch on to this series so well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's got a lot of experience in it, and he's just a very fun driver to watch. I mean, again, like, let's go, DeMarco, you know, um, Curry. They're all good drivers. They're, they're all really good drivers. Yes, as he crosses the line at 103.25, it's a little slower because of the grind, but yeah. that's a pretty good time. I'm um, considering now the other mid-season driver. That's Chris Washer in car number ten. Chris Washer isn't doing as well as uh, Alex DeMarco and the other guys, but he's got potential. I mean, he replaced my favorite driver in the series, Jake Williams. So I gotta like something. You know, I like this car, but he's not showing me that same you know drive that uh, Jake Williams had. Well, also I mean, Washer he comes from a uh, oval track background. Yeah, it's a little harder to make the change. I feel when you come from like short track racing. I mean, I think he might do a little bit better in New Home Track, which he's signed up for again. I think he's driving oh, the 51. Oh, no, no, no! This turn has just been the bane for each of these drivers. A D and F. Last season it was for, the jump. This season it's the dirt. Yeah, for Washer. And now, this is yes. the run we gotta watch. It's Adam Dunlap, the points leader. Now, he just needs to pass Benoit, and he's already gonna have a points gain on him. But now, it just depends on where he finishes compared to Evans, Duel, and Caps. Um... I, exactly, yeah. And he, if he just made the hole. He almost did what Todd Benoit did and almost fell in the hole and ruined his efforts. They would have actually probably tied for placement. Now, what I notice here, you can tell if they're having a good run if off that uh, off that wow. uh, scaffolding, as, yeah, as he's having a good run there, if they start to like almost go completely vertical, yeah. that means they've got a lot of speed. And exactly. I noticed that with Evans and Duel. They both had that kind of car movement Adam at Dun the time. Adam Dunlap, you know, he's doing very well. I mean, it, oh, hit the wall. That's going to throw off his time just a little bit. Looks like it's not going to be the top time, but it's looking it's got pretty top good. Top five might, it might be. I was looking for it. Let's take a look at the uh, crosses the line. A 59.02. Great time for Adam Dunlap. Fourth place. 
that's not going to be good for Tyler Benoit. That's going to really kill him in points. I mean, he's going to have a huge point drop, almost like 20, almost 20 point drop. I mean, yeah, I, I, don't, I think his hopes are pretty be massive. As uh, William Duncan on track, we mentioned him a little bit earlier when we were talking about Alex Tanker. Now, last year he had a decent run at this track. We'll see what he can put together oh, this time. Oh wow, what a jump by William Duncan there! That was completely square, right down the middle of the, the drive. What a great, right, great driving ability right there. This could be a good run for William Duncan, who's trying to claw his way up the point standings and uh, trying to get himself in the championship contention. It's kind of difficult in his hey, case. if he's able to even get in the top five in points. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, and that's going to hurt it. A DNF, he's going to be, I think the scoring is close. He's close to Citadino. We're trying to figure out what the scoring is Wait, for him. We have a new driver, Skylar Dixon, replacing Nick Pericles for this race at Hong Kong. Yes, um, a deal was made between the two. Pericles is not a championship comp competing car, and Dixon wants to get some experience in the series, so they've talked with each other, and they decide that Dixon will get a three-race stint, and they're going to see how he does in those three races, hey. if, whether or not they should maybe sign him on for next year. He's putting in there, This is a good time to put him in. I mean, it's when the competition is on, and it, it gives him experience of that drive, with all the drivers around him really trying to get their best times, and I think it's good for No! Oh! oh! A rookie mistake for Skylar Dixon, but decent run up until that, a DNF for him, and we also get a report that they're scoring Cittadino ahead of Duncan, ever so slightly. Oh, really? Okay. Now we take a look at Steven Carter, who's back on track. We like seeing Steven Carter around. We do. I mean, he's again, he's one of those group of drivers that came in you know, in, in part of the season, part way through the season. Yeah, he came in about race six, I believe. Yeah, and and whoa! Oh, whoa! Man. Slowing down him a lot, but as long as he doesn't DNF, that's what I'm saying. We've already got enough DNFs today. And if you can finish this race, you will get, be guaranteed usually with a top 15, at least, you know? Yeah, as uh, Steven Carter. Now, uh, he, I can understand why he's a little off. He hasn't been in the car for two races. Jeffrey yeah. Finn guy ran a couple races as kind of a development ride just to get him some experience. But uh, Carter, I mean, I, I see a lot of great things in this kid's future. He's going to go up to Utica Home Track Series with uh, the Allen Racing family. Exactly. And I think he, like, even though he's not going to be a champion in this series due to the limited schedule, yeah. I think he's garnered a lot of respect. If he crossed the line with a 102.11, not too bad considering that he almost went off the bridge. I know, I mean, it was an amazing run by him, but now we have Alex May. Alex May has been doing pretty, you know, pretty He's been doing pretty good. Yeah, I yeah. think he's been a really suitable replacement for Joseph Bryan. They both have similar driving styles, so I think he was able to adapt to it a little quicker. Mm -hmm. But uh, set, but Seth Cole, I think a good decision for with Alex May in the car. I'm not sure how Joseph Bryan would have done. Um, I, I, there might have been some falling out. I'm not exactly sure. Because there hasn't been any announcement for Utica Home Tricks if he's coming. Well, I'm not sure if he's coming back or not. But uh, Alex May having a great run right now. Yeah, you remember you talked about the vertical off that, you know, when they hit the, the vertical off the second jump. That's exactly what Alex May did. Alex May, he slowed down just a little bit in the dirt section, but it's not going to kill his time too much. In fact, he might be right in top time. Yeah, let's see. Alex May going through this looping section of the course as we work our way to the final segment. Alex May Here coming to the line. Let's go. see what he can get. 58-72. A great time. Third place. That's the podium spot. As Joshua Michaels in car number 13. He's back in the car after uh, after a bit of a failure by Estavis Cortez. I think Estavis Cortez had his best run he's ever done in that hey, race. Hey, it was his best run of the season. It was. It was his best run and of the And the season. best run at that track. It exactly. I mean, he is, he's at his prime right now. Got to think of the positives. As, and uh, whoa. whoa. That is... My that God, Joshua the, Michael! That was the much, much slower than the <laughs> what was required for the bridge. As now it's time for Thomas Beatty, car number nine. He's the last car on track. <laughs> Mick Beatty is driving. He's going to strive, y'all. Yeah. Mick Beatty gonna drive the car, he's gonna go around the turns and be red, y'all. Good. Mick Beatty. Oh. 2013. Man. <laughs> that was fire, Josh. I, I, I think it was it was moderately dope. It was moderately dope, but right now, <laughs> Thomas Beatty having a great run so far. I'm thinking I'm starting to catch on with this a little better than the Yoko theme song. I'm yeah, I, I, I think Thomas Beatty has really improved throughout the season. He... He's made sure that he's done better than Austin Ogo. Oh, he has. Trust me. 
He's done better than us, but finishing the line. A 58-20. Not going to get the top time. And guess who's going to be, in case you forgot, because it was so long ago, Matt Evans wow. wins the event. With his second he was career the, win. Second career win. He was the seventh driver on track. Wow. So he held it for a while and beating Matt Duell, oh. who was furious. Well, that's still both those guys are going to rise in points because they're ahead of Adam Dunlap. Yep, they're followed by Thomas Beattie with a great run. Alex May, Colin Bartell, Adam Dunlap, an impressive sixth place. That'll help him out. John, John Lesko. Michael Aurelio, Joseph Anesto, and Stephen Carter rounds out your top ten. Now we got Alex DeMarco, Daniel Voiles, you know Seth Colin, number th you know thirteenth place, Dom Caps, Chris Aurelio, John Cedino, and it, it, this starts a DNF list, which is very John Cedino sixteenth with a DNF, not too bad. Not too bad, yeah, exactly. Now we got William Duncan, Chris Washer. Richard Johnson, Dylan Young. A lot of these guys are going to really kill. Especially Alex Tanker is killing points. Yeah, Skyler Dixon, the rookie yeah. mistake is going to send him out. Anthony McCurillo, Tyler Benoit is the big one. Yes. On fact. All he's going to be is Joshua Michaels, who couldn't even make the bridge. Exactly. <laughs> Let's take a look at how this affects the point standings. I expect there's going to be something jumbled up in there. Let's see. Adam Dunlap still on top of 272. Tyler Benoit annoyed. is still in second place with a 243, but everyone else is really close. Dom Cap is only four points behind. Matt Duell and Matt Evans are also oh, oh, on his oh, tail, tied, tied in the points. As Colin Bartell is in sixth place, followed by Chris Aurelio, William Duncan, Richard Johnson, and Alex Tanker rounding out your top ten. Now we got the, Michael Aurelio, Jake Williams still in 12th place, and he has not raced since what race? Uh, race 10. Race 10, exactly. I mean, it's crazy. And, and then Seth Cole, Dylan Young. Now, that's the guys. those are the guys that can possibly win the champions. Now, these guys... Starting out with Joseph Bryant, cannot win. Next up, John Cedino, Emily Michaels, Ray Davis, Kevin White, and Stephen Carter rounding out our top 20. Then we have Daniel Voiles in 21st, followed by Thomas Beatty. Beatty starting to catch up to him. Um, Emil Michaels is in 23rd. He won't be back until Dead Man's Curve. McCrory, the endurance driver. Onesto in 25th, followed by Alex May, Billy Bishop, Nick Pericles, who wasn't here this weekend, Alex DeMarco, and John Lesko rounding out the top 30. Then you got Diego Ruiz, Costas Nasty. These guys, they haven't raced in forever. Aaron Williams Jr., Vladimir Petrov, Austin Oko, we still miss you. <laughs> Chris Washer, Jeffrey Finguy. We have a huge list now. It's a, it's ridiculous. Ray Takeda, Joshua Michaels, Skylar Dixon, and Stavis Cortez. Skylar Dixon is somehow beating Stavis Cortez. Yeah, because he was able to beat a couple yeah. cars on like uh, Stavis Cortez. Well, that ends our run here in Hong Kong. Next up, we're going to sail. No, I know what you're gonna do. I know what you're gonna do. What? <laughs> no, no, okay, nothing. But uh, we're going to sail South Korea. Should be a great race. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Adios.